It's finally time to address a question I frequently get here in the channel. What is this blue dot on the lower right hand side of some of my notes? It's the language to writing assistant in action to be more precise. This is the Chrome extension. I love the way it works here on Evernote, but it's a Chrome extension, meaning that you can use it anywhere you're typing online to compose an email, to write a tweet, and in so many other services. Go to language2.org and you see this box. As it says here, enter or paste your text here to check it. But before we even start, let me show you this. There are several languages that you can check. Some of them have even the country variations, for example, English, German, Portuguese. Let's select British English. And now I'm gonna paste my text here. The orange line shows words that are wrong. In this case, it's a typo. I can click here and it gives me the options and also an explanation. So let's choose can't. But what about vacation? As you can see, the underline is in a different color. And if I click here, vacation is a common American expression and we choose British English. You can change it to holiday or switch to American English. I can also switch to American English here. So let's do this. And now it's gone. There's also a more powerful editor I'll get there in a moment, but first let me show you this. An app for iOS, macOS, Windows, extensions for other browsers like Edge, Firefox, Safari, Opera, and even plugins for Google Docs, Microsoft Word, OpenOffice, and LibreOffice. And since we are here, let me show you how to install the extension. Choose the browser you are using, I'll choose Chrome, and follow the steps to install it. If you create an account, you'll have access to all the documents you are working on in any of these apps or browsers that you have the plugin installed. It will work even in the free account. I already have an account. If you don't, just click here and follow the steps to create one. As you can see here, there's much more space to work on a text. I'll paste our old text here. Let me change this to British again and we have the same suggestions as before. I can work on them in the text like I did before, or we can go through all of them on this panel. And by the way, this panel here is the same one you have available when using the extension. Let me paste the text here again. The extension did its work here. We have two suggestions, can't and vacation. Just like here, can't and vacation. There's also a peaky mode. I love it. I use it all the time. I turn it on every time. And of course, it's also available on the extension. If I, if I move the switch here, it will change to the peaky mode. And since we are here, let's also try it on Gmail. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. Here we go. The suggestions are the same. And I also have the side panel. Depending on what your plans are for the text, you can set it as a permanent text or a temporary text that will be sent to the recycle bin after seven days of inactivity. Let's change this one to permanent. The left panel will show you all the documents you are working on. And as you can see, it's set to all texts, but I can select permanent texts or temporary texts. Depending on the size of the monitor you are working on, you may want to collapse or expand one or both panels. There's one last thing I wanna show you before we move to the next feature. Let's say I read a word that is not in the dictionary, but it's not a spelling mistake. I can click here or, or here, it doesn't matter. Let's do it here. I can ignore it if it's something temporary or I can add it to my personal dictionary. Which brings us to the settings. If you're writing, you may want a dark mode, right? <laughs> you have it here. Let's go back to the text so you can see how it looks like. We'll move it back to the light mode because it's better for the tutorial. It's also possible to set the user interface to your own language. There are some available here. I can't remember any now, but there are so many words in English and Portuguese that look like they mean the same thing. They, you write them quite the same way. 
but they mean completely different things. And if I select here, for example, Portuguese, it will help me with that. And you can also pre-select the version of the language, for example, British English. Remember the word we added to the dictionary? This is what personal dictionary is. The word is here. And if I don't want it anymore, I can remove the word. Let's go back to the extension for a moment. As you can see here, the sidebar works quite well on the right hand side of the screen if we are typing on Gmail. But let's say you are in Evernote and we have the full screen mode on. It's also working okay here, but let's say you prefer to use it on the left hand side. And here it is. All you saw today was done on the basic account where you have basic grammar, punctuation and style checking and up to 10,000 characters per text. If you need more, there are other options with many other features. Like I said before, I use language to every day. I love it. And since half of you are from non-English speaking countries, I thought it would be a nice tutorial to have here on the channel. Hope you liked it. See you soon.